Yours I'm different. different. Yeah, I'm different. <clears throat> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What up? Chicken butt. Welcome to another grooming podcast. I'm Kathleen Austin. I'm Juan Rivera. I'm Kat Graney. And I'm Nathan Austin. I almost looked at you like you were going to cut her off. <laughs> You do be doing that sometimes. Yeah, it was close. That was a close one because I like looked at you and then I was like, oh no, if I make eye contact, he's going to think it's his turn. Uh, <laughs> did you fill up your drink? I did. Here. What is it? Coffee? No. I Celsius? wasn't sure if you finished yours. Yeah, it's Celsius. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Your letters are different than mine. Yeah, his is the first one. The oh, big okay. one. His you is, should yeah, pour, his is bigger. pour some of mine into yours. There's a little trace amounts of coffee in here, though. Mine was too. I just poured it in. You're a sicko. That's Thanks. The gross. <laughs> it was only like the tiniest bit at the it's, bottom. It's anyway, After the first suck, it kind of goes away, right? Yeah, you don't That's notice it anymore. What? After the first <laughs> <disgusting. laughs> no, Rinse out the cup a little bit. Mm. No, it's fine. Mm. You never do that? You never just no, fill it with something else? Yeah. yeah. Only the first Versus, drink yeah. tastes like yeah. the other one, and then well, it's fine. that's gross. I don't want the... No. I agree. It's, it's fine. Like We're okay. You don't like the smell of coffee? Oh, I, I love, love the smell of coffee. I used to love, um, remember back like a long, you know, before you would be in the grocery store and they would have like the aisle of like the beans that you could just like fill up your bag mm -hmm. with whatever beans and you could grind them if you wanted. Oh, I loved that. It smelled so good to me. Yeah, stores don't do that. No oh, more. I thought you were talking about the pinto beans. I'm like, yeah, I love to put my yeah, hands in. Pinto oh, yeah, pinto beans. <laughs> just put your hands put in everyone's beans. In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how many yeah. hands are probably in those beans? That's why, you why they got rid of them. Yeah, I wash them and boil them. I was like punch the, the rice back to, or like the flour. <laughs> So you remember so, they used to have, they had everything, candy and yeah. beans and what? coffee. and I used to collect my a mom, little, I would like grab a couple little coffee things and fall, like walk around and like. <laughs> <laughs> shove them up your nose. Yeah, I loved my, coffee. Uh, my mom and my grandma always sorted sorted their beans. You, does your mom ever sort her beans? Like go through them, look for rocks? Yeah, take out the rocks. rocks. Yeah. And there's fucking rocks in there. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. I've never done that. But yet, like, my grandma and my mom would always find rocks. Yeah. So I'm like, am I just eating rocks? I wonder if it's, no, like, I think a, it's a brand also. I think you able to tell. Yeah, they get, the, like, the cheapest beans. Yeah. I also think it's a pinto. I feel like I, there's no rocks and other stuff. I don't well, think. They probably, They're like, the Mexicans won't yeah. care. It probably <laughs> falls to the beans. bottom, though, too, right? Like, I imagine, because you soak them, don't you? Normally soak the beans mm -hmm. first before okay. you cook them. So then if you're soaking them overnight. My grandma always overnight, said it eliminated the farts. Yeah. So if I was just going to say that. If you're doing it the traditional way and you soak them overnight, then all the rocks would fall to the bottom. You just pull the beans out of the top. Maybe because I'm white, but I've always just had beans from cake. <laughs> yes, it is. Bush's baked beans. <laughs> it no. is. You're right. white. Yes. See, I know though. But yeah, but depending stories? on the brand that you no, get. Mom, did your mom sort mom, her beans? She didn't. I don't know if she sorted her beans, but she did cook beans that were from dry beans. But I didn't pay enough attention, and we didn't have them a lot. So uh, look really at that breaking barriers. <laughs> anyway, bean <Beans> barriers. <laughs> All right. What's our first question today, Ronnie? Uh, the first question is: What would constitute a perfect day for you oh. april 25th because it's not too hot and not too cold all you need is a light jacket oh, I think it's sweater. I love that movie. oh my god that's no a quote from his congeniality it's a, that is like one of my favorite like older movies like i love i feel like it's very underrated it's yeah. one of my top three for sure yeah, yeah I sandra bullock oh i, I love, love sandra, sandra bullock. bullock yeah she's, one she's of my so pretty Will you want to the <laughs> you want to fuck me. me. I know she's so pretty in that. I fell in love with her when I was a kid watching that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's hot in that. Yeah, yeah, she really is. I mean she's hot in other Still, things too. All of but. Them. So she's beautiful, yeah. I think for me it'd be like waking up and then like, you know, messing around a little bit right mm -hmm. out right when you wake up and then like Getting up and having some breakfast, having the kids come out when the breakfast is done, so they're not interrupting you while you're <laughs> trying to before, cook. Yeah. And they come and they're happy about what you're what you're giving them. And yeah, uh, happy about what you're giving them. And then maybe like go to on a hike or a theme park or something and have a good lunch there. Nobody and then go to the Great American. Yeah, go to the Great American. <laughs> <laughs> And then, no uh, complaining though, no fighting. Yeah, no fighting, and then maybe a nice dinner at the end of the night where we could have a couple cocktails at like uh, somewhere not too fancy, like a Nijo Castle or something, or like a Benihana's, like oh, Benihana's, where you go watch a show and then oh, chill, go home and then finish with a movie. You know, that sounds bang. nice. There's another bang yeah. before bed, probably. Yeah, <laughs> more blowy. Yeah, right before bed, and then uh, and then stay up maybe like not that long, but maybe like thirty minutes. Doom scrolling. 
<laughs> Got to have a little bit of doom you scroll, right? Yeah. It's 2024. Mm-hmm. And then um, fall asleep with my phone in my hand like a weirdo. <laughs> no, wait, 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 he's, he's got a lot of details here. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, that's it. Oh, nice. That's, that's a solid day. Yeah, it's a good right? day. He knew his answer. Yeah. That's a good day. Well, you know, like if you set the bar too fucking high, you're not going to have the best days. Oh, well. Right. Yeah, and not that the that bar is really high, right? Like, well, the no it's fighting a very that's never going to happen. The no no fighting for our children. <laughs> the children just, staying in their room until what? breakfast is ready. <laughs> that, yeah. well, all the time, though. Actually, we talk my about kids it. sleep in now, so oh, okay. they'll stay in their room. We we talk about it quite often now. We're like, this is the hap- This is like peak happiness. Like we'll always be happy, but our kids are at this perfect age. You know, we're doing good. We're traveling. We're doing all these things. Perfect, we're the podcast but... is doing well. Like everything's on the up, mm-hmm. right? And like. I don't want to be like, oh, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this because I want to absorb today. Yeah. Right. Mm. Well, this is nice. this is the good times that we're going to talk about later. Yeah. yeah. Like when remember we're old when, and gray together. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're remember all, we, when that we older all woman to, assaulted me? No. <laughs> yeah. We all need to be in a retirement home together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, actually, though, I don't want to go in a retirement home. Retirement. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, like, I want us all to be well, together. Yeah, we so. could pool we'll build our money. a nursing, a nurse quarters. Yeah. yeah. We could there pool our go. money that way. We could afford a on a uh, 24 hour on staff nurse. Yeah, that's what you just said. Yeah, we'll build I nurses quarters. That. Anyways, okay. What about you, Kat? What's your perfect day? You guys go. I'm listening to your perfect day. <laughs> She's formulating <laughs> responses. Swan, yeah. do you know? Um. Okay. So I, if I could have my perfect day. Okay, I would have my favorite breakfast, which is chilaquiles. Mm, nice. So good. Hopefully, my mom would make them. That'd be nice. She can Aww. come over, make them, and leave. And <laughs> Sorry, mom. While I'm asleep. Um, while I'm asleep. And Just pinto beans. Them. So good. My mom makes really good beans. With Ronnie breakfast? makes really good beans. Yeah, with breakfast. Beans, eggs, and chilaquiles. So mm. good. And then, if the weather's nice, I, I don't know if this is weird to say, but um, sometimes I like to take... Uh, Magic mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And I, it's like late morning to me is like the perfect time to have your you eat them or you make a tea or whatever on like ten, eleven o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then when you and then you go outside and then like from noon to like three and just like the sun just like hitting your you I get really like thankful and really like I like I reflect a lot and I just like really love oh. my life and yeah. like I, I always cry because I think about like how like like you're saying like you should yeah. enjoy your life like now right yeah. um and so it's just like three four hours of me like sitting in my backyard like with the sun on my skin just Laying like on the trampoline yeah Looking yeah, up at it's the it's, sky. So, it's it's like so wonderful, and then like you're eating fruit I and like everything tastes I'll... so good. Yeah, that and it's just awesome. it's really nice. And then like as a, and then it's you start like sobering up around like three or four, maybe five. Then you mm-hmm. come in, and then you have a nice dinner and mm-hmm. watch some TV. That's sounds perfect to me. Yeah, that's beautiful. That sounds fucking cool. Two we drugs. Should, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> well, drugs. we'll we'll have to like. Find the kids an overnight babysitter, and then we'll come sleep over, and we'll have your mom come in, cook breakfast, <laughs> and because that sounds perfect. We just hire we'll yeah. all just have a perfect day together. It's, and a, it's really I, uh, fun. We'll if force I, Kat to do mushrooms with us. If I, if I dive they, they straight grow. into it. She's a, never done them grow. before. They're natural. It's natural. Jesus, Jesus made them, so it's, yeah, it's good. Jesus apartment. did make them. I don't think Kat cares about the Jesus part. <laughs> if They're if technically I, uh, legal in Oakland, so... Yeah. That's where we got ours. Yeah. From yeah. you guys. Yeah, from us. Actually. <laughs> I could go. Mary, we, could just, we could leave right now and go to Lake Merritt and just buy unlimited amount of mushrooms. Okay, part two <laughs> coming next week. <laughs> <laughs> On the legal. On the uh, legally. Podcast. Could uh, you imagine? Oh, my God. Oh, we should do an episode no, on no, mushrooms. No. Okay. Anyway. Okay. No, we should. Oh, if I do spiral down like I usually do into like a self-deprecating, this self-destructive <laughs> mindset, I, I will think, stay away from you guys. Okay. No, but see, I think if we were in that environment, I don't think you could. Because it's like er, like everybody's just so oh yeah we'd be loving. so loving. <laughs> Nathan's like, all I want to try. Watch, watch me. Anyway. What am I doing Ooh. with my life? I've, I'm I've, destroying myself. I've never had a bad experience <laughs> on them. We've never. I've had always a bad done too much though. Drug. So I think that would be me. I just okay. Be no, we've I never used, had a bad experience. We remember everything. A, any drug we've done. I think I do lot, too much. I need, yeah. Nathan I, al- has I a always do like a quarter or like a half eighth. I'll do like a half eighth, and I'm like, it's just. I think it's too much for me. Nathan always goes too hard on everything. You could always redose. You can't underdose. You know yeah. what I mean? You can't take it away. I do like the taste of them, though. I know a lot, a lot of people are like, Ew, this is gross, like but I think they taste nasty good. Nasty sunflowers. Like when we, when we got married during, during COVID and we were, I mean, it was a really, really good day. And then like around like seven or so, we went inside and then I was like, I'm going to just like go grab like a little piece of shroom. 
And I just went to my closet and I just got like just a little piece and like it made that day so much better. I remember like I like after like 20, I was like sitting outside with like surrounded by my family and it was like the light, we had the the lights on and the tiki torches and it was just like, I I just love every time I do it. It's, it was, it makes it everything perfect. I might I'll try teach you it how to do it. I'll yeah. teach you I think to I just it. do too much. Yeah, we just need to come over because that we we all know Nathan has a habit of doing <laughs> too much. Um, anyways, no pressure, cat. You can come and you can watch if you want. Like, yeah. there's a lot I of like people them. that. Yeah. There's a lot of people that have tried to convince me that we're just monkeys that have taken mushrooms and <laughs> gained consciousness. Oh, no. Like, a lot of people have tried to Have you guys that. seen that Probably. documentary <laughs> on, um, on Netflix it. about mushrooms? No. It's, uh, let me see. I like mushrooms. He I talks think about it a lot, cool. but he's never watched it. I did. I watched it. Oh, you did? Oh, my God. A fantastic Fun Guy is what it's called. Oh. And it talks about, like, t- tangent mu- mushrooms, but it's, uh, so mushrooms can communicate with each other. Oh, through the medicine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, they can they can like digest oil. So people like people use them for like oil spills. They can uh, oh, wow. they can digest plastic. So pe- people are thinking that like mushrooms could like literally save the world. Yeah. Mushrooms are incredible. Have yeah. you seen The Last of Us? I think they're uh-uh. cute. That's, they are cute. So yeah, there's like this there's this type of mushroom ones. that infects ants or insects, right? And then it like goes into their brain. And that's a real thing. And then yeah, it's a real, real thing and makes the bug go to like the tip of a, 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 a grass stalk or something so that a bird will eat it and then it infects their brain, right? Mm-hmm. And on this show, there's one human that gets infected by it. Uh-huh. And they go to this fungal specialist and they're like, hey, some a human got infected with this and they show the human and they're crazy trying. And she's like, we need to just nuke this whole town. Like this mm-hmm. whole place needs nuking or every, everybody's going to die. It needs to happen right now. And a, it, it was a really love, good show. I love that show. It was the yeah, one I watched with really Bella good. Ramsey and uh, Pedro Pascal. Okay, so for me, I would I would say my perfect day, sleeping in number one. I'm gonna sleep in, no waking up early. I want to be able to like lay in bed and like chill for a minute. It'd be really cool if I just like woke up and looked incredible and didn't have to do anything. <laughs> so that's like a perfect day for me. Um, like maybe my makeup. Every I put day on my, is perfect day for you. Then. <laughs> so Thanks. yeah, is this like reality stuff? No. But like maybe if like I like fell asleep in my real. makeup and it looked great the next day too. But it, like I'd like to be on vacation somewhere. So like maybe like a beach, but it's not too hot. So I can like go out and like swim and like have a really cool. You know, I love um, swim with makeup on. Well, I never put I never put my hair on my face in the water because oh, okay. my hair the color. Okay, so okay. I don't I don't go above here. <laughs> um, yeah, play in the water. And, you know, my kids can be there um, for that. <laughs> I <laughs> for guess. That. They can be there for that portion. We can swim and, you know, like sandwiches for lunch because I feel like that's really nostalgic when you go swimming, right? Like sandwiches yeah. and chips for lunch. And then um, it'd be really cool then if I could go to the spa afterwards. Mm. Um you know, several hours massage and, you know, steam room and jacuzzi and just kind of like have that decompression. I could like sit and read my book because I've been trying to read my book for like the last week. But every time I sit down to read, there's so much going on. It's hard to like focus. I have to like go and retreat to my bedroom. And then Nathan's <laughs> always like, where are you? So it'd be nice to just like relax and read my book and like decompress <laughs> in the quiet. You can be there too, Nathan. But, um, I just got to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Perfect days me being alone. No, but just like as long as as long as you're in the spa and you can like be quiet. Right. And like mm. I really enjoy that as much as I like talking. I actually do really enjoy going to the spa and just like not having to entertain anybody else and just being quiet and relaxing and quieting my mind um, because I say everything that's going through my head. So it's just constant. Um, anyway, and then I would like to have a nice dinner. Um, you know me, I like I like a fancier dinner. So I love going out. Like my birthday every year we go out and get Wagyu steak, um, you know, because I, I just, I enjoy the finer foods in mm-hmm. life. Uh, you know, a couple cocktails. And then I would like to cuddle up and watch a movie. I think that sounds lovely. I think that sounds like a wonderful day. Yeah, it does sound good. Yeah, that for me nice. that's like top tier. Cuddle, cuddle and watch a movie. Maybe like not fall asleep during the movie and actually get to finish <laughs> it. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I the believe in you. And, yeah, yeah, relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I usually fall asleep. So that a perfect day would be being able to stay awake, finish the movie. Okay, I guess it's me now. Yeah, figure um, it out, cat. Well, <laughs> sleeping in definitely. Uh, just sleeping in and like being able to relax. 
for a little bit in peace and quiet because hmm. maybe it's a mom thing. You know, they're always at you being hmm. like, mom, mom, let's do this. Do that. Your kid's a morning kid, too. I know. I, I feel for you. That. <laughs> but yeah, she's always up like, mom, 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 wake up, wake up. Is it the sun's awake? So I'm, I'm awake. awake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I don't know. I think going to a park and just like watching her play, but enjoy like sitting, you know, under a tree in the shade and just relaxing. And I like just like to relax and, mm-hmm. you know, stare up at the tree and stuff, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know what makes staring at the tree better? True. <laughs> Doing drugs. Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms. No, I do want to. It think is true, though. We did that in Tahoe and we're looking at the snowy trees. It was fucking trippy. And beautiful. Fun. It was so fun. I think this goes into like what you're saying, too, because I just thought of it is like not the I think the reason I put myself in a vacation place is so I don't have to clean. Yeah. So mm. just like. If you want to add that in. <laughs> I'm listening to this book on minimalism uh-huh. and they're talking about how the, the less stuff you have, the happier you are. Mm-hmm. And that's why you enjoy yourself on vacation a lot more because it's like, mm-hmm. it's not all your stuff. It's just your essentials and then like a nice clean, tidy room and your, ment- your mental state when you're on vacation is a, min- a minimalist mental state because you, there's nothing else to worry about just besides what's in your suitcase and living life. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I was like, oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's time to start getting rid of some shit. I was going to say, you know, it sounds or fun, but I also, I just, <laughs> or we could just go on vacation. Yeah, we can just go on vacations because I like collecting shit. Wait, I don't wait, think cat, I could not. Cat's yeah. still under yes. a tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cat's under a tree. So I can not under doing drugs. All day. She's like, <laughs> that's it. That's so would you just go to sleep under the tree or? No, because I'd be afraid Ellie would get kidnapped or something. <laughs> this is a um, perfect day. She perfect can't day. get kidnapped. Okay, Ellie a won't nap get under the tree is like. Yeah, and where she's not coming to ask me to play, you know, play on the playground with her because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't play on the playground. Like, I like to watch her play on the playground, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to cart my butt up yeah. on the playground True and adulthood. run around, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. I hate when my kids, I'm like, we're going to leave if you don't go just play by yourself. <laughs> yeah. We're going to leave. <laughs> I was like, well, go make a friend. And then she's always like, I'm too scared. I was like, you're not going to make a friend if you don't ask, right? It is you really en- enjoyable to like watch really. kids, like, watch my kids, like, playing and stuff. So, like, I mean, kids in general, I you like watch a bunch watch of kids playing. playing at a playground, and it's, yeah. like, really enjoyable. I feel bad for people that, like, don't have kids, and, and like, you can't just, like, it's see okay. a bunch of kids having She's fun. Just go to a park. And just, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, yeah. well, watch them have a bunch of fun. I don't know. You, well, I, if you we let all our dogs out, and they just have a whole bunch of fun. Yeah. You same, same. Go to a park, but then you I mean, because then you're, like, you're a weirdo. <laughs> you're a weirdo, you're right? But, like, it's just an enjoyable you yeah, thing. Yeah, you can't just go sit at the park and watch the kids. I think people do that, though, right? Maybe Are older they weirdo? people? Older people. I don't know. Can you do okay. that and not be a weirdo, though? Well, in New York now, isn't there, like, a law, or there's been a law where you can't be in a park without a child? Oh. I think in New York there's, like, that law. Okay. Adults can enjoy enjoy parks too. Maybe no, playground. Can't be at playground okay. Okay. Yeah, unless yeah. you have a child. Well, yeah, because I'm like, obviously, you can go to a park and like play, you know, or not play. With but yourself. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Yes, the law was made for you. <laughs> don't do that. Anyways, but I enjoy watching Ellie play at the park, especially when she meets a friend and like listening to their little conversations and how yeah. they play. It's it's enjoyable to yeah. me. But I also like I get to sit there and relax and enjoy it. But also enjoy seeing her have fun, right? I try to take her to the park all the time, and she's always like, Ugh. and I'm like, what kid doesn't want to go to the park? She used to love her the perfect park. day is very different than yours. I know, but anyway, hers is playing with my mommy twenty four seven. But I so I enjoy like if I can go to the park and she finds a friend and she can just play there for hours and enjoy herself while I get to sit back and relax. That's awesome. And then maybe we have a picnic there together. A picnic. And a picnic. Bring a picnic a basket. A picnic. Um, and then go home and maybe just relax, take a nap. <laughs> a lot of my enjoy comes <laughs> a lot from of naps. sleeping. I love naps. Just laying in bed. I just love, I used to hate naps and now I love naps. So take a nap and then get up and have a nice dinner. Maybe go to, I like tampanyaki bars but mm-hmm. uh, or a Korean barbecue. Oh, yeah, My Korean barbecue. All you can eat. Or <laughs> Olive Any- Garden, all you can eat. Yeah, anywhere where I can get all the food <laughs> I can. <laughs> and then, yeah, m- ending the day with cuddling with Ellie on the couch watching a movie where she doesn't complain or get up and watch. I'm bored. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, she, yeah. If I can go a whole day where she eats everything I put in front of her and she doesn't say I'm bored or let's play Barbie. <laughs> That's the perfect day. <laughs> perfect day. <laughs> Sorry. None of our perfect days she, included dogs. Wow. You know, oh, I, I, I do enjoy the park. But there's a dog right there. They're more work. <laughs> yeah, there's a dog right there. 
But uh, like I like to when I go to the park with Ellie, I often take a dog, you know, but it's actually kind of annoying because the kids all want to come up and mm. yeah. play with the dog. And, and you're I'm like, involved. And I'm just yeah, it's too much talking to other people yeah. like and then one if I say, oh, Pixel can shake or something, then they all fucking want to shake her hand. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, she knows Well, nothing. they never do it right. They'll like stand off to the side and they'll be like, shake. And, and like, they're like up above her head, shake. Yeah, shake, and then they're like, shake. "Why won't she do it?" And you're like, "You're doing it wrong." Do you always because get the you're kid? stupid? <laughs> do you always get the kids who want to walk your dogs? Yes, and, and I'm, I'm like, like "No." <laughs> and it is. It's, it's also annoying too when someone like misbreeds your dog. They're like, "Is this a doodle or is this a multi poo?" You're like, "It's a fucking not bichon." Even, no, not even just that. But like, I've gotten. Uh, I always get when I have my poodles like. Then you get the doodle owner. I have a doodle at home, but my There's dog's your, your dog's cousin. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, stop. So no. bringing the dogs, I like Real the original. dogs and I enjoy <laughs> having them at the park with me, but it's everyone else around me. I can't just sit there and relax on my dog. Yeah, because yeah, well, you true. have too fucking cute of a dog. Well, but it's not. Just bring Pixel. I mean, I mean, she's cute she's too. Cute. But I mean, even if you go though and nobody like comes up to you, still like trying to make sure that they don't bark at anybody or they don't leave or that they if they need a potty. So like if it's my perfect day, I want to relax and not have to worry about anything else. Yeah. Well, like I can do that with Pixel because I could just tell her to lay there and she'll lay there. <laughs> and, or I just, you know, put the leash under my leg and she will wander off. But Tallulah and Lumi are just, they're busy. Hmm. They're young, right? I love my dogs. But yeah, it's just the other people around me at parks. Is there another question? Oh, well, so I had a question that we had like thought about and I had written it in the notes. So it was, uh, would you share a toothbrush with your significant other? No. Because that's like a hot topic. No. Yes. We have. We've shared our toothbrushes. If it's no, if it's not like if it's, it's do not it a or regular, don't brush your teeth. Yeah, it's not like a regular everyday thing. But yeah, like if we're on like a trip and we're like, oh shit, we only have one toothbrush, then we're sharing. I, I would go buy one. <laughs> I would go buy. one. I think there's a store anywhere, and I would go buy one. Not I would also. I would use his water them. pick. I would use his water pick after he's done with it, but I don't think I could use his toothbrush. Which is weird. I clean it. Like it's not like I just like straight. So up. I've never used Ronnie's toothbrush. I'm just kidding. I've never used your toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I've okay. used I don't care divorce. Use mine, but I cannot. But use would yours. you though? Like, it's would weird. you if you were? If like, I had to, I would. If yeah. you were like at a hotel and it was like, oh shit, I forgot mine, but he remembered. His. I would run it under really hot water for a really long time. But yes, I would. See, I'm way. But less it's weird because we like make out That's what and I was we like say. It's like we suck each other's things and it's like lick each other's <laughs> places <laughs> and why what is a little spit you yeah. know yeah I get, it's a I mental get it. thing that's I get it right well so that's like for uh, for us that's why I'm like I rinse it but I don't like go that hard like I'm just like meh okay but like yeah we're like deep in each other's faces sometimes you ever sometimes. lick your significant other's teeth though you have I know so, yeah. it's weird <laughs> it's so weird not on purpose Look, let's do it later yeah, give it a try. It's so weird. I've done Do, it a couple okay. times where Maybe we're making out and we're just like <laughs> licking each other's teeth. Like, and I'm oh. like, this weird. But definitely, it's not bad, but it's like really weird. Don't bump teeth though. That oh, that is sucks. not. That's a bummer. I've but yeah, we've done that before when you're really deep in it for a, a hot minute. Yeah, why not? <laughs> licking teeth. Yeah. It's not like this. Like, hey, smile for me. Yeah. <laughs> like that's not the way it goes. No, they're for like sure. filmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> You should go use my toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why you have to have good uh, hygiene. Yeah, they got to be smooth. So right? I'm really it's curious. It's got to have a smooth texture. Yeah, I'm really curious for like everybody else, right? Like um, if other people would use their significant other's toothbrush. Like are we the weird, super weird ones or? I bet it's split down the middle. Yeah, I'm sure it's split down the middle, but I'm just like interested. Also, how new is a toothbrush? Well, yeah, that's true. It's all old and bent out of shape. Yeah, it's all, it's like, all like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then no. <laughs> it's like brown about the base of all the bristles. It's brown. <laughs> Sometimes when my when my toothbrush is out of battery, I'll use his battery and put like my head on it. So I Which use your fine. toothbrush regularly. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine too. Yeah. Because we have the little. Do we want to do another one of those questions or we want to go into no, our. No, I think we're ready to. Oh, like, yeah, we're 30 minutes in. 30 already. minutes in. Yeah, yeah. we're 30 minutes in. Uh, well, well, I guess we didn't even say at the beginning, but this episode we're going <laughs> to read some Reddit uh, stories. Do you guys go on Reddit? No. I do. Um, I went every on once last in a while, but I'm there. Things. I'm there for some other. I'm there for a problem that no one that I can't find anywhere else. <laughs> so I doom scroll yeah. on Reddit. Yeah. Really, I love Reddit. Have you, okay, here let me. I'm going to read some of the subreddits that I'm on, and you guys tell me if if you guys are okay. 
Camp EDC, Celebrity Penis. Nice. Oh. Uh, Drag Race T, Electric Daisy Carnival, Gay Stories Gone Wild. Oh. That's like some like people t- talk about spicy things. How Ooh. freaking wild do they go? Um, they must, I mean, yeah, people uh, talk about like their experiences like exploring when they were younger or oh, I like, oh, I turned a straight those. guy or whatever. Um, I would for sure read those. Uh, <laughs> ask Gay Bros Over 30. Mm-hmm. People just like, it's like, hey, so does this happen to you guys? It's just like, That's there's cool. just so many conspiracy Costco. <laughs> People oh, talk about Costco's deals at Costco. Yeah. Nice. Um, there's one that, okay, so I don't know if you guys would imp- appreciate it, but it's called uh, Regretful Parents. Oh. Oh. So people talk about how, why, how, or like why they regret becoming parents and like oh. what's so like shitty about being a parent and like they well, wish that they I mean, wouldn't do it and stuff. Everybody's. It's just like whatever you want on Reddit, you yeah. will find it. Yeah. Nice. It is wild. Whenever I Google anything and I, like I always Google like if I wanted to look computer, uh, computer Reddit. <laughs> like I always put right at the end because that's when you get the opinions. Yeah. People are so opinionated. Right? That's I where I find out all my dosages. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I feel like people are like honest there. Uh-huh. And then you can read the both extreme ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And their experiences. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sure. you get some scientific people on there. I weigh this much and I'm, I do this and this and then I redo this. And so yeah. people are smart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, I, yeah, I really like Reddit. I just One go on there for the would. drama, but yeah. Mm-hmm. I never been on there until yesterday, and I didn't even know what it was. It's a little hard to like navigate. Three days ago. I also just love when podcasts, not just us, this is our first time doing it, but I love when podcasts do Reddit reads. Mm-hmm. I love watching those. I'll get stuck part one, part two, part three. Part it's four. always some crazy shit. Yeah, I know. I love it. So I let's sh- do one of those with well, this one right here. I haven't. I was put in charge of this, and I don't even know if this is the best. I literally just typed in dog grooming. <laughs> the person who doesn't the- know about Reddit and doesn't know what it is. <laughs> I, so if there's a Reddit story you know that involves dog grooming, let me know. because <laughs> yeah, I we'll, literally just took some randos. We'll for sure do other Reddit reads on here. So like, I'm if sure you we're guys, not, We're probably going to only get through this one. If you guys <laughs> go through a different... like If you guys come across a thread that you want us to read, send it to us. Because... You guys know I like doing that, so I like reading. Are you talking to us or the our AG peeps? I like that too much. Yeah, that's you your said name it, now. and I was like, AG "Oh my peep. god, that's so cool." Unless some, <laughs> it, yeah, unless somebody else comes up with something better, but I they really won't. Like they AG won't. Peeps. That's the best one. Hey, but you know what? I <laughs> something that is just happening that I'm pretty actually upset about, and it's like the ankle socks being hated oh. on now. I am so upset by this. I look over, and our freaking apprentice Drake, fucking crew cut. He switched over? No, he's always no. worn them. Oh. And I always thought it was weird, but turns out weird, I'm weird. just old. I, I think it looks weird. We had yeah. to work and for these, too. Yeah, we did. We used to have to fold our Fucking socks Fucking fold up, our crew pull cuts Pull them down. all the way down and, and like Yeah, and then you had to walk around with it under your foot all day and it yeah. fucking yeah. hurt. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't top. right in the arch. Until yeah. they finally designed the perfect sock and now they're not perfect no more? What the fuck? I'm Who'd, wearing them right why now. Why you want to cover what? up your Me ankles? Too. When I wear crew, they're called crew, right? The long ones? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just, My leg hair hurts. Because yeah. it's like yeah. crumped. It's kind of like when your ponytail's up, probably, yeah. and you take it down. And when you have take you them off, seen? it's like, ah. You yeah, the, but then it's also like if you put it in the wrong direction. Then it's like, got, or it then you, what the about when you have like the ridges on your, on yeah. your legs? Mm-hmm. Or, but have you seen the, there's like guys that wear long our, socks, I think we're just aging though. ourselves though, a lot right now. We're only yeah. in our 30s. Yeah, but have you seen the guys <laughs> that wear like long socks every day and they don't have hair? No. It rubs off all the hair. They'll have hair like shin up but then like shin you know what i mean like middle of the leg down no hair and Maybe i'm like Ew. and tan lines what if you yeah. what if the yeah. next day you use a sock that it's a different length yeah so what Ew. now and you know Gross. like i like a good a nice ankle you know yeah mm-hmm. it's the it's like a it's well, like you gotta a, know uh, if you have an ankle or a cankle well the ankle is like a little flirtiness before Flirty. the foot <laughs> for nathan that's very important i think the ankle into the foot I, I can appreciate a nice ankle like if there's like a guy in like a really nice suit and then they like you're like walking you see like their ankle and it's like oh like it's just a little sexy yeah, yeah. do you like so do you like suits with dress shoes with the no-show socks or do you think it's better with you uh, like a sock that matches like the shirt or something that the the pants are a little bit above the shoe so you can peek the socks a little bit and it matches the shirt or the outfit. Or I whatever. always wear long socks when I wear dressy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Me I think too. it depends on like how dressy, right? Because if yeah. it's like a suit suit, I think it should be long socks. True. But I think if yeah. you're doing like what about a, boat a shoe? tropical button up. Yeah. Boat shoe, no socks. But right? if you're yeah. doing a tropical like button up and like slacks and yeah, and a boat shoe, then 
Yeah, I think that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like a, a nice trouser and a like a boat suit. shoe with a like trouser. A, a trouser. A trouser. I like the names they have for a lot of all the men's stuff. Boat shoes, the fucking penny loafers. Penny loafers. Isn't it a haberdashery? wife beaters? I'm just kidding. Haberdashery. haberdashery? Yeah, that's where you buy hats, hats and stuff. Hats. Yeah. Is that that one? What is a man one then? A what? Oh, a that is for men. What? Oh, a haberdashery? haberdashery? It's a men's hat shop. Oh, what is it called? It a haberdashery. Haberdashery. haberdashery? Yeah. Do we even have what a Disney? It's upsetting to me that fedoras are not. Cool no more, and that they're just super lame. They're I like for, own three. They're for old. <laughs> they're for old. So Keith's one's two thousand. I put them on, and I'm like douche. I immediately look at myself in the <laughs> mirror, and I'm like haberdashery. It's a men's clothing and accessory store, but the, usually it's hats. Okay. It's, it's known for. That's a sick name, though, right? It's known for hats. Yeah. The more you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever referred to a hat store before, so I've well, never, he's never been to the Dickens. I'm gonna go to the haberdashery. The you go to, you go to lids. <laughs> Good lids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should walk into. That's a nice haberdashery. Yeah. 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 They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> These black guys are born in the 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> lids. Who goes to lids anymore? Yeah. Well, one of our one of our friends, his boyfriend, his boyfriend just got a job there, and I was like, I was surprised it existed at Southland Mall, no less. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Lids at Southland Mall exists. Like, is yeah. he still there though? Because isn't he looking for another job? He is looking. No, I think he's just there. But he's still, he's still looking. looking. Okay. I That's guess good. the haberdasheries are not way. the great place That's to That's like work. the way you should do it. That's you know, some people quit and they're it, like, yeah. I'm going to find a new job. It's like, no, you like. You find, find the a new job and quit. then you quit. Yes. Then you, yeah. Yes. 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 For everybody thinking about quitting and changing salons, find your new salon first and then quit. My nephew would do that shit. He would quit his job before. And he's like, oh, I'll get. I'm like, quiet, you idiot. <laughs> get the job before you quit this one. Because yeah. otherwise it leaves a gap in your thing. And they're yeah. like, well, why aren't or you Or like working? if people are like, also, they're like, I don't like the job I'm at. I'm like, you yeah. could just be looking for a new one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like yeah. as you're still working at the one that you're like, ah, whatever. Because you're going to have to do the work anyways, regardless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you got to make money. So yeah. Smart, smart. So. But Jeanette anyways. wouldn't allow, probably Jeanette wouldn't let him quit though. I wouldn't let him quit. She's like, nah. No. You're going to work that job. Well, now hate. they're working <laughs> together. So. Okay, are we going to start uh, reading these? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you going to be the reader? Nathan, well, read I'll that. read at least the first Me one. Me read this? No. I'll read at least the first one. Okay. Uh, okay, so this one, it says, Dog Karen. So I, 28 female, own a small mobile dog grooming service that I just got up and running a few weeks ago. What that means is that instead of coming to me to have your dog groomed, I go to you. I find it helps with the dog's temperament and overall stress. So far, all of my clients have been wonderful, both humans and dogs, until yesterday. I was contacted by a lady yesterday who demanded to know if I had any availability to groom her dog today. That was the first red flag. So I started my usual spiel of what kind of a dog do you have? What is the approximate size of your dog? Size and weight will affect the price for the services. What is your dog's temperament with strangers? And so on. Everything seemed pretty okay until I got to the part where I asked her if prior to the appointment she could send me a picture or photocopy of the dog's vaccination records. I need a copy for my insurance. And that's when this woman got all huffy and rude saying that it was completely inappropriate question to ask and went on to also rant about how unprofessional it was of me to ask her, ask for her address. I have a (laughs) mobile service. I can't go to you if I don't know where you are. I will say we, we get so many people that apply for our, like put in a new client form for our mobile salon no and address. they don't put their address. And then I have to send them a message like, Hey, so I noticed that you're interested in booking an appointment with our mobile salon. Can you send me your address so I can make sure that you're in our service range? Yeah. All right, keep going. Keep going. I swear half the time they don't answer. It's very annoying. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Uh, she proceeded to rant for a good five more minutes before saying she won't book with me ever fine by me. I have plenty of other clients who value my time and services. Fast forward to 4 PM today. The lady calls me back complaining that all the other local dog groomers are completely booked and not taking any new clients. And once again, demands that I groom her dog today. She even tried explaining that she got offended when I asked for a copy of her dog's vaccination records that I was insinuating that she doesn't take care of her dog. When I tried to explain that I am no longer available to groom her dog today, she went crazy and started screaming at me over the phone and trashing my business, calling me names and saying that my refusal to bend to her demands was completely unacceptable and hung up. Suffice it to say, I have blocked her number and will warn other dog grooming businesses about this woman. Good luck getting your dog groomed anytime soon, Karen. 
<laughs> Jeez. She does that have, is wild. She does have an update. Uh-oh. Dog Karen update. <clears throat> All right, for a little context, I am Christian, and as such, I attend church on Sundays. So as a general rule, I don't work or take calls on Sunday so that I can attend church and spend time with my family. Guess who bombarded my phone while I was at church Sunday? (laughs) If you guessed dog Karen, you would be correct. (laughs) She was using her husband's phone since I blocked her number. She filled up my voicemail with messages demanding to know why I was ignoring her calls and, of course, called me several foul names. So after church, I was left with no choice but to call her back. When I tried to explain that I was at church and that I don't work on Sundays, she cut me off with the classic, I don't give a fuck about your religion. She then proceeded to scream at me that it's unprofessional to ignore clients when they call and once again demand that I groom her dog immediately or else she will ruin me and my business. When I tried to calmly explain that I don't work on Sundays for church and so I can be with my family, she responded with, fuck your family. I'm the client. My My needs are more important. At this point, I was just so done with her, especially after she insulted my family. All courtesy went out the window, and I snapped back telling her that, no, she wasn't the client, nor would she ever be. That's right. Yeah. I then hung up in the middle of her screaming that I'm a shit and blocked her husband's (sighs) number. Honestly, now that she has harassed me three days in a row over the phone and she supposedly lives in my town, I'm afraid she's going to find out where I live because of my vehicle I use for my mobile service is parked out front and will just show up at my house. I wonder if there's going to be a part two or a part three at some point. I hope so. Yeah, I would love. That is crazy. So we've had some crazy clients, but. I don't think that bad. No. I don't understand how people can think that after speaking to someone like that, People would be like, you. "Oh, sure, okay, you're right. Let me just groom your dog real quick." No, <laughs> fuck Immediately you. No. I would yeah. also Maybe. be afraid of how they would treat my dog. I mean, I don't think us as a groomer would hurt a dog like that. But like, if you treat a human being like this, how does your what do you do to your dog? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you don't value it. And I also wonder how people like this are in relationships. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, how can you be married to something like that? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. I mean, we know some crazy people that we think that about, but um. I mean, yeah. Like, I would have been like, I guess we're going to fight now. <laughs> Nathan, you, definitely. I guess, uh, yeah. I guess we're going to meet. I'll come. Yeah, come. What's come your address? Yeah, 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 meet address? me out front. For the bubble. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of business. At and this then, point, <laughs> I probably would make a... I, I think, like, at this point, you file a police report. Because, like, she's saying she's fearful, right? So she I would, to, This person threatened her, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, like... I, or a lawyer, you know, like a cease and desist, like... Cease communicating with me. Don't talk about my business. I've never even serviced you. Leave me alone. Don't contact me. It's, Something or both. It's wild to me that clients think that their lack of preparation in turn is an emergency on my end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah. is a you problem. Yeah. That's all you. Like, obviously, if I can help them, that's awesome. But yeah, like if if I'm booked up for the day, like, obviously, I you know, like I'd like uh, to help if I could, like, but... But all of our clients now, though, are are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, but there are the people out here. That we have like, had that phone call though, right? Like, my dog is really mad and it needs to be shaved today. And the I'm only like, time I'll bend to someone's need is if it's like a like, my dog got skunked. Well, no, but then usually like, it's like I'll do my best. Usually it's like, like a long time client too, though. Like, or like uh, if someone got hurt and or you know like some really like what is it like I just got to get my dog room right fucking now because I want it. You know, yeah. like, get the hell out of here. Your dog person. was mad at a week ago, and you knew. So it's yeah. not, you know. I also think it's great. People expect favors when you're not even a client. Yeah. yeah. Like that you were saying, too. like, it's like the normally the people that have been clients for a long time or people that are always on time or people that, will, you know, like, are super flexible when you need yeah. to reschedule or whatever. I feel like I'm way more likely to help them. But just some mm. random-ass person that's calling me, you need to grab my dog today. Get no, no, I don't, I don't even yeah. know you. And it, yeah. it, it definitely <laughs> depends on how they come at you, right? Because, like, even if somebody, if it was somebody new and they called and they were like, you know, I know this is a total long shot and, like, I totally, like, I don't know, you know, I, I messed up and, you know, like, my dog's really mad at If you had a cancellation today, that would be wonderful. But if not, I'll take your next available. Mm-hmm. Then I'm more likely, like, if I did have something open up that day. But if they're, like... My dog's really mad at and it's an emergency and I need you to groom it today. Then I have I'm a party like, tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah so I have a you, party then I, and I, you know, like I don't want it shaved. Then I'm like, mm, we don't have anything till next week. But do you think people like that are always like that? Or do you think they're created in that moment for um, whatever's happening in their lives, though? A little bit of both. I, 
Because yeah. no way you could just fun- function like that every day, right? You I just don't go know. to Starbucks. I do think some people are like that. Fuck. I mean, for her to get be that comfortable to talk to a complete stranger oh God, that I way, couldn't. that has to say something about how she normally. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, think she did it to no all way. the other grooming salons too? Yeah. Probably, she's yeah. probably been blacklisted. Yeah. yeah. I bet if you call, if she calls all the other salons in the area, like, hey, I, you know, like this person, they're all probably going to be like, oh yeah, we had the same thing. We've had a client where you fired recently because of the person herself mm-hmm. and her demands. Mm-hmm. And that's just like, and we know that she's gone through multiple groomers. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for that one, this one cat guy to call back. So I'm going to fire him. And I know it's going to go south with him. I thought you were going to say fight. Like, no, <laughs> I'm going to fire him. Well, I, he might. Yeah, it might, it can, it I might think come it'll to prob- that. I think it'll probably get ugly, to be honest. Because uh, the guy is entitled. Yeah. Yeah. I well, missed something. We went soul. to her house. Well, well, so for context, we've felt uncomfortable with him for a while. I think we might have mentioned him on a, on another episode, but like he'll come, he has to come into the salon to make the appointment because if he calls, he's always like, I know you're going to do it wrong. Oh, like book the appointment he's that wrong. One. Yeah, Nathan so, wasn't there and he only wanted to talk to Nathan. Yeah, right? so like when he comes in, he demands to talk to either me or Nathan. He'll be like, you'll do it wrong if somebody else books it. It's just cat nails at his house. That's it. Like it's nothing else. And... um. He always calls me Cat, no matter how many. I'll be like, I'm Katie. This is Cat. And then he'll be like, No, you must have changed it. You were Cat. And I was like, I've never been Cat. And then he'll be like, Okay, Cat. You know, just like very rude. Like, it's I a simple. Him the fuck out right there. It's a simple ask. And he always kind of makes like um, sexist remarks, but. He definitely does. Is he white? Yes, he's an Fucker. older white guy. <laughs> and he always like makes sexist remarks, but never like too. Lude. Like. Never too over the line, but just enough to make you feel uncomfortable, mm-hmm. you know. And Nathan is usually kind of like, uh, he, he handles with it. He he's like an uncle. Him. He's like the typical uncle, you know. Yeah. Kind Drunk of creepy uncle. Drunk uncle. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but he always makes all of us really uncomfortable, and we've just been kind of putting up with it because it's like it's just cat nails. We just go over there together, me and Nathan. We do, but it's like he doesn't. We don't do it on the mobile. We go in his house, which also makes me uncomfortable walking i'm always like is he gonna like murder me in this house or i told nathan i couldn't never go alone right Mm -hmm. and he is married and he has a kid but like he just he he has that feeling that just he makes you so uncomfortable yeah yeah but this last time we went to go do the nails we show up i think we went at the end of the day so we went after work and like we left the kids and the dogs in the car and we're like okay you know because it's fast it's just cat nails he has like five cats but still and we're like walking up the steps and I, I can't remember. Did he give you like a fist bump yeah, or a no, handshake? Yeah, no, he like shakes my hand and then he's like, go on in. And then like I'm passing him and then I hear him go, Arr, Arr, to, uh, and I look over at him and he's like, Arr, Arr. just, yeah, I don't Nathan register what really he's saying. Nathan didn't really get to see, but mm-hmm. he essentially like put his arms out like he was going to hug me. And I'm like, no, right? Like I'm not, mm-hmm. I didn't say no, but he like put his arms out. He was a couple steps up though. And then he sticks his tongue out and goes like blah, 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 to me. And he's like, we have different greetings for men and women in this house. So he's like this, like, yeah, to me. And I was like, instantly yeah, like, bad. what the fuck? And so I'm just walking into the house and I don't I don't realize anything. And Katie's just like, all right, let's Well, because what am I supposed to say at that point? Right. Like my kids are in the car. The dogs are in the car. We're there yeah. to do the nails. And I didn't want to make a scene So because I, I, I felt tell, really uncomfortable. Right. And like, I can tell she's uncomfortable, but I'm like. She's just uncomfortable because of because he's, he's always weird. Because he's yeah. a weirdo. I didn't realize that that. Did was, he put? A, did you have to like? He didn't swerve touch or? me, thankfully, because like I said, he was like two steps up, and I stopped moving. And then yeah. it was only when he like turned around and started walking, then I followed. But you know, because I was like, that's fucking gross. Like, don't no. I'm a I'm a professional. I am yeah. a professional who's coming to your home, and that's so inappropriate. We're not like friends. We're not. You know what I mean? Like. And I'm here to do your cat's nails. Like, that's... You don't do that. I could never mm-hmm. imagine and you're, doing does that. Does he know you're married? Well, yeah. He knows we're married. And we have our kids in the car. And we have... You know what I mean? To so do like, it behind your husband's back. Like, that's... Oh, he's ballsy. He, he definitely has a, a male anarchy fucking... Well, he yeah. always... He teaches you... Treats, treats you guys so bad. He yeah. always treated, like, me and so when he, I helped him and stuff. He, like, he was degrading to women, you know? Yeah. So like when he we, comes in... Because I'm not going to fire him on the phone. Yeah. Because this is going to be an issue. It's better face to face. So when he comes in, <coughs> I'll talk to him outside and be like, sorry, not doing you. I didn't realize what happened the other day. Like, if I would have known then, it, you know, the well, words yeah. would have been exchanged. 
Because I wasn't um, going to be like, hey, Nathan, he just made the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. pull, you know, pull Nathan aside and be like, he just did, you know what I mean? We're like, it was so weird and awkward. It makes and me I upset. Felt, I'm like picking up my nails and stuff now. It made me so very, uncomfortable. Yeah. And then I know he's, oh, he's either going to get upset and want to like talk to me about it or, you know what I mean? Like I have these variety of things of how it's going to go down and it's like upsetting that I even have to deal with it. No, I, I know he's going to be like, oh, let me apologize to her. No. no. And mm-hmm. that, and like, this I don't. awkward. Like you just, you, you, you should fucked have up. never I'll fucking give you done it. Information information to some other places and you can work with them now but this is done now yeah she don't owe you shit like you don't get to apologize you don't, like you know like it's yeah. too much you well i just i honestly gone. don't think he'll feel sorry is the thing no. like i think if he'll he probably was a, think we're the asshole yeah and if he apologizes just to save face or it'll be like oh i'm sorry you, you can't do anything nowadays people yeah. are so sensitive yeah <laughs> oh remember that guy we had sorry no go ahead i'm done Oh, no, no, no. It was just me. Um, Remember that guy, Juan? Yeah. Uh, no. No, we, <laughs> that we, I think we've told you since we are a home-based business and stuff, we randomly have people come to the house yeah. thinking they can just, like, knock on the door or they'll ring the doorbell with their dog. It's oh, like, and all hey, the dogs you... are fucking going yeah. crazy, huh? Yeah, so, but, or they, like, come, like, random people because they're like, oh, can you grab my dog right now? Do you have time for oh a, a walk-in or something? We're like, oh, no, so sorry. This is how our salon works. Yeah. And then that happened yesterday. Someone pulled up at yeah. a random time and we're like, who the hell is this? Like, no one should be here. And we yeah. walk out, and but we see a dog. I was like, what the hell? And we go outside, and the guy's like, oh, do you have time for a walk-in and stuff? I was like, oh, no, unfortunately, we're a private salon. Um, if you're interested in an appointment, go online, see our requirements, because we are a different salon, and we run differently than everyone. Mm-hmm. And then he got so upset that, because uh, we were working, and I came out, and he just got so upset and was like, what? Uh, I was like, oh, qu- uh, what is it? Um, requirements oh, why do why do all you salons have requirements nowadays and it's so hard and this and this and he was getting mad at me getting in his car like, but i live around the corner yeah and he's like i live so? right around the corner and i was like oh okay You're i like, was like yeah cool. just go i wasn't rude you know and i was just like what the hell and he got so mad got in his car and then drove away and i was like you literally i'm like do you think it would ever take you now or anything yeah or hopefully not and he had a large camp. dog and it's like that's what i was like go online i want to be like we don't oh, yeah, take we big dogs take big yeah. dog. anyways big, just big dogs. go look at it but sorry, that was random. No, but no, I, that's tr- it's just yeah, like yeah. the entitlement of I get so like, mad. I'll have yeah. Katie film it from the window, so if we go to blows, get a body, we'll, we'll get, get a, a video cam. of it. Get a body cam. Be like, this is for my definitely protection. no fighting, <laughs> no fighting. But it's just you know, well, and of course the uh, like just this unless week, he punches you first, then go. Well, go that's for different. It. But like then just this week, <laughs> I was driving the mobile, and he was freaking crossing the street while I was waiting to make a left, and he was like waving at me, and I'm like. Oh, that guy? Yeah, and I was like, oh, because then what do you do, right? And I'm like, eh, you know, like wave, like tiny little like wave. And I'm like, mm, you know, like I want to be like, fuck you, but I have to be <laughs> professional. The car. <laughs> I have to be professional. I just run him over. I've had a lot of guys make me feel uncomfortable over the years, like in my career. I mean, I've had a lot of guys make me feel uncomfortable in general, but. I've in my career, I've had, you know, like always like the old man that makes like the comment like, oh, do my hair too. Or, you know what I mean? Like little like things here and there. But that was like the most like overtly like. That's direct. Yes. And it like immediately I was just like, I don't ever want to see you again. Like I just I've not felt that way in a long time where I just felt like somebody totally disregarded me as a professional. Yeah. And my feelings, or you and as a like human being. me, yeah, me as a human yeah, being, we'll me as a woman, like yeah. where it was just like I can do whatever I want. Don't you tear? I can, yeah, like I can do whatever I want, and it doesn't matter. No, you yeah. know what I mean. And I just like felt so like helpless because then I had to walk inside his house and do his cat's nails because I wanted to be professional and well, not. Screw like, that guy. We're never gonna do it again. But it just sucked, you know, because yeah. like yeah. I didn't want to be like an asshole and like throw a fit and like you know what I mean. Like so I was just like I gotta do it, you know. But as soon as we got in the car, I was like, I can't come here again. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to ever feel like that again. Yeah. Yeah. I fumbled the ball. I should have like you realized. Didn't know, it was you, didn't, you didn't know. You walked in first. And you didn't you know. But then I felt like he did that right in front of me. I was like right there. But I just wasn't. Well, I was stepping into his house. So like, I was right there. Like, I should have known. He did it when he did it on purpose. So Na- yeah. See. Nathan was like just far enough up the steps that he couldn't see. <sighs> so anyway, Anywho, that call. was depressing. <laughs> <laughs> recalling that and this poor groomer that had to deal with that <laughs> so who wants to read the next one i can read the next one okay <clears throat> commission versus hourly i'm in the search for a new salon to work at and one of them offers just an hourly rate i've only ever worked for commission i don't know if they require you to do a certain amount of dogs a day or what they are charging the pet parent but they only do one length cuts and neat faces it's only 21 to 23 an hour plus tips to me it sounds like they're ripping off their groomers Anyone worked for hourly pay instead of commission? Thoughts? 
So I That's put this one. one down because I thought, you know, we used to all be commission based. Right. But they changed the law in California. So now we have to be hourly. And at first I was like upset about it mm-hmm. because I was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to be making the same kind of money. Um, but the way I get paid, it's my average, right, for what I mm-hmm. what I do. But I actually enjoy it more because I feel like you could spread responsibility. Like, oh, if I'm running behind, this person can start my dog for me because mm-hmm. we're getting paid by the we're hour, not by team. the dog. We're yeah. working more as a team instead of being like, oh, no, that's my dog. I got to do it. I got to finish it because I'm getting paid for it, right? Mm-hmm. So we can work more as a team. We can help each other out more. We can... Um, we're getting technically paid for the things that aren't just grooming dogs. We're getting paid for phones and emails, cleaning, and cleaning, cleaning, and all this stuff. It's like buying interaction. Yeah, we we weren't technically getting paid for that before. When you're making commission, you're only getting paid for grooming the dog. Or like if a dog doesn't show up. Yeah, yeah. you're still, still you're getting still- paid even if you're hanging out for the hour. Yeah, cleaning. Cleaning. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, returning so, voicemails. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, I do. I get like that getting paid hourly is scary and I think it it depends right because like I have different expectations of all of my groomers at my salon because we pay hourly we're in California and that's the way you do it right and um you know like my apprentices um they're learning at different levels right and I mean that's just how people are right some people move quicker I was fast quicker right and Nathan has always been slower And so, you know, I take that into consideration where one of my apprentices does four dogs a day and that's where he feels comfortable right now. And then I have somebody who does more dogs a day and that's where she feels comfortable. And so everybody kind of goes according to their own needs, but then pay scale also reflects that, right? Like Mm -hmm. um, those people that can do more are, are getting paid more and have a higher, like Kat has been grooming for forever and she can do a high qual a high amount of dogs, but also high quality. Right. And she can do more specialty things like hand scissoring and, you know, so our pricing reflects that. But I think that the thing that is super common in our industry as business owners is that so many people are used to getting paid 50% commission and they don't Mm -hmm. want to take less than 50% commission because like a lot of us started at the PetSmarts and Petco. I think we've talked about this. Yeah, we have, right? Mm -hmm. We've talked about that. So they're used to getting paid that. But if you're getting 50% of a $65 haircut, it's not that great. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that has a lot to do with it. Like most of, I mean, PetSmart, Petco make the most groomers a year, a year in, year out. They're the ones that are popping them out like crazy. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people think that that's like getting paid a certain way is the correct way. But I think a lot of people don't realize is that these box stores, these big box stores don't really make money off of Mm -hmm. grooming. Mm -hmm. So they're okay with breaking even or even losing a little bit of money because... I remember when people uh, we opened. I opened the the San Jose store, so we had to get like someone fly out from corporate, and they gave us all the thing. Um, they're saying that it's uh, if you get a, a client into the grooming salon, they're more likely to pick up a bag of dog treats, and oh, they need a new leash, or just they're they're more likely mm-hmm. to buy. So that's you that's get them. They, make they, money, they yeah. you get them into the door with the services. Mm-hmm. And then in turn, they're going to buy their dog that just did so well at the groomers a treat, you yeah. know, so that's mm-hmm. where they're making their money. They're losing money from grooming. Yeah. So we're used to, oh, 50 percent, 50 percent, 50 percent. And then we go somewhere else and they're not offering that. But it's just they're a multi-billion dollar company yeah. that can't afford to lose money on that aspect because they're making money in, in the pet ways. training and yeah. the hotel and all the, fu- the fish and like yeah. literally all that food. Yeah. Where small businesses like us, we can't we can't do that. We we lose money. When I first opened, I paid fifty percent, or yeah, fifty percent, and I didn't make any money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Power it's to crazy. the people that you are even can probably making less money than everybody less who than works for you yep. and working the longest hours because yeah. you have to do everything yourself. Yeah, and we had payroll we had to pay for and all that shit. Yeah, and Actually. so I do think that's something that um, I I think now the internet is helping business owners to be a lot more open about our fees and like the cost of everything. And so like, you know, I do think there are so, you know, cause you do see salons that'll say like, I do 50% and we're doing just fine. And that's great. I think that's great that that works for some salons. Um, but I just don't know that like that just doesn't work for everybody. It didn't also work for too, us. It didn't work for you. Different states are different. Like we are, we're, we have a lot of taxes here. 
Yeah, where that's true. Where in other places they may not have as much. Or yeah, or how much your facility costs to run <clears> or <throat> different things like that. Um, but yeah, like, cause we do hourly, but we also try to provide, like a cat said, right? Like I check on a regular basis to see how many dogs they're doing and kind of calculate then like, oh, you're due for a raise. And so we do raises at least a couple times a year based off of how they're like growing. And, you know, like if we do a price raise or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Different things like that. Um, but we also do like breakfast, lunch or breakfast, lunch, snacks, drinks. We provide them for the salon and we do vacation yeah, we've, pay. We've like, and we've talked about all this already though. Like it's kind of boring, right? It's kind of boring. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it is, I guess. Um, redund- I, I think the word you're looking for is redundant, yeah. redundant, not boring yeah. because some people will find this interesting and not everybody's listened to every, every episode, episode we've done. But to answer this question specifically, I don't think that they're ripping you off by no. paying you an hourly rate. No. I think we are ripping ourselves off if we pay you 50% commission. <laughs> yeah. I, well, it's a hard job. It's, yeah. well, it's uh, owning a salon is n- like, it can be very time consuming and difficult. And even before you guys were salon owners, we all were in the mindset that that was normal. That, 50% that was, was normal, normal. And that they're making a deal off of us, right? We didn't yeah. know everything that went into yeah. it. Right. So, and so I do think and it's. And now we know. And if you talk to your employees mm-hmm. and let them know, yeah open communication yeah. is important but like i th- yeah i think if if you're going to a salon and interviewing and they do pay hourly i think that those are fair questions right like how m- i'm sure there are salons that pay hourly that yeah, are ripping about, people off and think about how many dogs you're doing but too. yeah if if you go in and they're going to pay you 21 dollars an hour and they're expecting you to do eight dogs a day by yourself no bather then maybe maybe Never you know been. what I mean? Like, depending on how much your area charges. If you're doing, charges. like, six dogs a day and then you're taking home tips, that's, like, pretty... I mean, I don't know where they live, right? So, who knows? Yeah, so I think it really just kind of depends, yeah. I think if you do the math, it's not far off. I think people would be surprised if you, like, calculate how much you yeah. would make an, a day paying, getting paid hourly versus what you would normally do commission-wise. Yes. Right. It typically is around the same. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I I completely agree with you. So I think I do think, right, because then this person said, like, I don't know what they're charging. So it's like, well, you have to find out how much they're charging. And before you decide if they're ripping people off, you have to take into account all the different factors and do the math and run the numbers yourself and decide whether it's worth it to you or not. You read the next one, Nathan. Nice and short. That's that's also why uh, you also have to think about it this way. She was talking about like ripping off, but we don't even know her background. Like Mm -hmm. what is her skill level? Can she knock Mm -hmm. out this many dogs? Does she know how to do a breed cut? Does she know how to bathe correctly? Like they have to think about that too. You can't just go in expecting a certain amount just because of what you got. Like that's why your continued education nowadays is so important Mm -hmm. to know what are you bringing to the table to back that up, that you're worth the money. Right. It's Yeah. (laughs) So the next one, I'm just going to jump into the next one. Yeah, yeah. Well, this Nathan's ready light. to move on. This one's on. a little lighter, too. <laughs> we've, had two, we've had two that were a little bit more. Anyways, continue, Nathan. Oh, my God, Nathan. it keeps going. Yeah. Going. All right. The next one is, what is a breed stereotype that is undeniably true? There's another line below it that I think goes with it. Yeah. Oh, I'll go first. Golden Retriever's pancake, <laughs> 99% of the time. Cocker Spaniel's poop and pee. Oh, that was mine. All over the place <laughs> of the, a good majority of the time. Yes. Yes. I agree with those. Although I feel like cockers aren't as bad anymore as they were when we started. That's mm-hmm. true. Cockers at PetSmart were the, the worst. worst. Oh, my I think shit pissed everywhere. The environment was stressful. I think it's the stress level. Yeah. Well, I, they, think I feel like they would just leak poop the entire time you worked mm-hmm. with them. Like uh, like a, a little hippo, tiny squirt little pieces tail of shit. Squirt, squirt shit everywhere, and then their tails like, <laughs> like, That's like, like a, a cow. Oh, well, like a they cow. always help. They always hold their, their fucking furnishings. Yeah, they always hold their tail tight, right? So then, like, even if they're wagging it, it's like smears down. Yeah, terrible. I hate it when you have to grab their tail and you base like their tail crop is so short. You got to just like basically stick your fingers in their <laughs> asshole and then to if move they their tail. It, you just have to dig it into your it just oh, goes into your nails and you have to pry it off. That's gross. God. Disgusting. But I think uh, bulldogs and Frenchies have the worst butts because they're mm. sometimes their tails are literally growing into their mm. asshole, and you got to get in there and get that crevice all clean. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was gonna say cocker spaniels before I knew that was on the thing, but cocker spaniels. <laughs> right, mine is Shih Tzus be biting you. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Shih Tzus be biting. Shih Tzus be biting. I well, think they they're the ones that bite me the most. I don't get bit that often, but when it, it's usually a Shih Tzu. Okay, what about uh, Shiba Inus or 
Screamers. Screamers. Screamers and horse kickers. Oh, yeah. they do they horse do. kick. Yeah, like, good job. But they're like ready Toast to fucking that. kick you right Toast in the face. Toast doesn't scream. She's really, really good for her nails. Surprisingly, <laughs> Arshiba, but she horse kicks you. So she do, won't scream. She will not scream at all. I do feel like, I will say, more recently in the past couple of years, I feel like we haven't really had any screamer Shebas, but they do still horse kick. <laughs> yeah. So maybe they're getting better. They're funny. I th- find them kind of comical, you know, because the way they scream, too, they're like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Pugs, too. Pugs, Pugs are uh, always screaming. Uh, yeah. Pugs they have horrible. a crazy scream. But it says uh, the golden retriever's pancaking. They do pancake a lot, but, but they, they also say. punch you. Yeah, they fucking yeah. smack they you right in the face. They smack you all the time. I know they're sh- like shaking, mm-hmm. but they, they're always smacking you. Our mm-hmm. sit all the time. The, the ones we have, they well, constantly sit. That's yeah. all they do is sit. I just feel like the amount of times that I've been punched in the face by a golden trying to shake is like too many. Yeah, they would like, go right smart. through. They would yeah, right through your smart. eye too. They're yeah, like, when they I have glasses, there I have glasses, so they just like punch my glasses. I'm like, ah, my nose. It hurts my the bridge of my nose. You know? Yeah. I'm like, mm, I'm trying what? to think of other ones. I know. Yeah. Now we're like, uh, mm, I feel I on know. the spot about it. Yeah, I think that's enough of those. <laughs> Uh, if we think of any other ones, we'll just come out with them. Because, you know, Nathan invariably, within like five minutes, he'll just like blurt something out about a dog breed. <laughs> That's what's probably going to happen. Dogos be breaking your salon. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. I do feel what? like every dogo Dogos. that we've had come in our dogo salon. Argentino. Yeah, they like will break. Like we've Everyone had one. Everyone we've had is break the salon. Like they, they're friendly, but they're just gonna break your shit. Yeah, like they're <laughs> sweet, but like we've had one break a kennel. We had one break a tub. We had one break an arm. We had, like I'm like, dude. This like literally arm of a table, not a, jumping not so a hard. Not a real arm. Yeah. Pull the table. I know. Pull when the I know. Tub down. Um, when you blow dry shelties or Aussie butts and they smell. Oh, uh, always. Their butts, like no matter yeah. how hard you scrub, it's always be spilling. Yeah. I don't know if that's And all the bulldogs but. have like the crusties on the tops of their noses, yeah. like their noses yeah. are peeling off. Oh, cockers in their feet, they get those hair splinter things, I feel like. Do they grow and oh, you like shave the them growth? off? Yeah. I feel well, like what about Pomeranians have... being horny though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they are horny. Did, that's one did I tell you guys about uh, a client that had me shave really tight because he likes to masturbate? Oh, that's a Pomeranian. That's a Pomeranian. And I would like do it. I would shave the Sani and she's like, oh, no, you have to like shave like a lot more because he likes to go home and masturbate. He has a special. Pillow. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> so I just like did a. But yeah, she just like said, around his penis. Yeah. Like just like his just, whole stomach. Why uh-huh. don't you just say he pees on himself or something? No. <laughs> or like, yeah, just whatever. I don't, oh, he likes well, to masturbate. Uh, we have one dog that he's a palm mix, but um, I've been grooming this dog since he was like a puppy. And. Every time his mom would pick him up, he would hump her leg and she never did anything about it. He would literally just be humping her leg and she'd just be ignoring it like it wasn't happening. And I'm like checking the dog out, trying to talk to her, trying not to stare at this dog dog humping her leg. I wonder what they do at home. Yeah, Yeah, if if it's like that in in public. And they have a female dog too. I mean, they're both spayed. Or no, he's not neutered, but she's spayed. And um, every time Poor I would girl. put them in the kennel together, he starts <laughs> humping her and she's always like, Arr! she's a shih tzu. So, you know, she's like, get the fuck off me. Yeah, good. No. Good girl. Yeah. But like she always would just let it happen. And I was always like, Ew. And she's like one of the type of people that look you in the eye when they're talking to yes, you. So she's just she like does. staring you in the eye as her dog's going to town as I'm on like her leg. Trying to ignore it happening. Just like. Uh, uh, so I'm going to do the last one. OK. So I'm going to try another groomer. Is that wrong? So this is from a. A pet parent, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like a spoo owner here, so standard poodle. standard poodle for those who don't know. I hate that nickname so I much. I do too. Uh, spoo. 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 I have a wonderful groomer, but I'm going to be traveling with my dog next week. It's been eight weeks since her last groom, and the next one was delayed because I got her spayed two weeks ago. Another spoo owner referred me to a gr- their groomer, who can do my dog right away. Is this okay? I do plan to return to the regular groomer, and I don't want to be doing something taboo or in conflicting damage on otherwise good relationship. Professional feedback is recommended or appreciated. I think it depends. I mean, why was it eight weeks? Do you have a poodle? Why was it eight weeks already? Eight, yeah, eight weeks is. Why did you set up your next much, appointment before you left? Well, I guess she said it was delayed a, two weeks, though, right? Because she got spayed. So six weeks isn't too bad. I wouldn't be upset if somebody went to someone else. I unless they totally screwed the haircut up. That's what, what I was going to say. Is that's, that's the hard part, right? Is like it depends. Is it a seven shave down with poodle feet, poodle face? Then like, meh, it'll be fine. Yeah. But if it's like Nathan has a lot of like full hand scissored standard poodles. I mean, but 
But not Odds everybody are, could do that. Odds are it's not. It's like a half inch all over clean feet, right. poodle face, so you know, I, most likely. I wouldn't be upset if one of my regular clients had to go somewhere else because like they were going on vacation. I like I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, I can't believe you went to another rumor. But it would just suck if they messed up the haircut. That's what I was going to say. I was like, if I came back, they came back and they like hacked half the freaking top knot off or, you know, did something extreme. Yeah. yeah, that would be or like put your continental into a Miami. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after your dog's fully that you've been working on so hard. But it was well, not. At least you have it, an okay. excuse saying um, it's their fault, not mine. Yeah. Well, you know what they told me? They told us that that person, and they haven't been back since. Wait, so what? Remember the continental people? They haven't put their dog in continental. Yeah. And they said they went to another place, asked for a continental in and full got coat, a Miami. got a Miami. So, so they, maybe he's but just they brought it to us. Brush, they brought it to us pretty brushed out with a lot of. Coat, it hasn't so. been that long since that appointment. Has it not? No. It feels like it's been a long time. But also, oh God, so they might just we be just going long. They might just do that. That might just be the regular thing. Go long time in between appointments. Well, yeah, because yeah, they, they kept able to keep they the kept the dog. dog the dog coat. was brushed. So, yeah. I think I'm okay with them going if they're on vacation. But I I don't like people that groomer hop. Then yeah. they just go to from this groomer to this groomer to this groomer because yeah. the dog doesn't get used to one yeah. person. Yeah. And there's no consistency in the haircut mm-hmm. or even the dog's experience. So how are they going to get more comfortable with what's happening Yeah, if you don't allow for them to get comfortable by going to a, play, a person repeatedly? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. No, we, I agree with we've that. We've had yeah. a couple clients that when we transitioned to the four week thing, people were like, oh, that's too much. I, I can't do that. Right. Fine. Um, and they went somewhere else for a couple months, and then we're like, okay, we're we're coming back. And the dog is so bad now. Yeah, really. And it's just it's, and I think that's what makes me more like the haircut. If the haircut sucks when they come back, fine, I'll deal with it. Whatever, well, it's it'll, hair, grow. it'll grow back. Yeah. But it's I, it makes me really sad when the dog comes back and they're like scared, it's or they're like yeah, scared to like give boy. you their foot, or if they like, you know, it's just like what what happened? Yeah, you what know, did you do to my yeah. dog? We can't trim his nails now. He freaks yeah. out. He he used to be such a good boy. Like this dog was perfect. We were grooming since he was a puppy, and then he left, and then and yeah, also it was so well. Sad. That's I think that's the tough part, right? Because yeah. you do get you do get new dogs in where they're like, my dog was abused by the last groomer, and you're like, was it though? Or are you just crazy? Mm-hmm. But it, when you worked on a dog and they were always good and then they left and then they come back and they're not good anymore, then you're like, hmm. What happened? <laughs> yeah. What do you think about it, Ronnie? What? About people going to someone else when they're on their vacation. Like you said, if it's on vacation or they're going to be out of the state or something and they're bringing their dog, I'm, you know, I'm glad that they're getting them in. You know also, how mean? long so is your vacation? If yeah, your vacation's exactly. a week, you can wait. It's not that yeah. long, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Or if too. it's in the middle, we're pretty flexible with that. It's like, oh, you're on vacation. Okay, well, come in a week early or something or come yeah. do this. But if they're traveling and it's something simple, then yeah. But if they mess up the haircut or do something, then mm-hmm. that's kind of, but that's on them. Because then again, it's like, oh, sorry, it's not perfect this time because we have to let it grow out because... I don't know what they But did. how much more does that client appreciate your good haircuts when they come back, though? I always oh, yeah. they come back and, and they're like, yeah, too. they come crawling back. <laughs> <laughs> come crawling back. Because mm-hmm. we use, yeah, it's depending. It, yeah. See, I wouldn't be worried because then they would want my bass. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how many texts we get? Oh, my God. It's been a week and they still smell so good. It's like, yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Good job, babe. Good job. Good I'm a job. good bather. You You're a very good bather. You did a great job on Helios that Thank one time. I watched Francine no, too. Was it Woody? Woody. It was Woody. Woody. And I watched Francine too that morning. Mm. Oh, you did. That's You're, why I got first. You're place, welcome. Yeah, that's why you got a best in show with yeah. him. A good bucket yeah. bitch is critical. Crucial. So, yeah, are you uh, for hire? <laughs> I'll be anyone's bitch. Just kidding. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. After mine. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Another Grooming Podcast. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.